Well, it's great to know that until now we have been using cursor 0.5, but today we have cursor 1.0, and that's a huge, huge news for our, all the cursor lovers. We have the bug bots, background agent access to everyone, and one click MCP install. We have an automatic code review with bug box. So if you have any issue in your PRs on GitHub, we will get a link where we can say just fix in cursor and this will take your bug and along with this prompt to cursor and we'll try to rectify the mistakes fix the bugs the next is background agent for everyone they have released this in beta mode and you can just access this by clicking the cloud icon essentially what it will do is that it will take your entire workflow to the cloud whether we have AWS servers and they're going to run this code asynchronously on the AWS servers and bring back to you the entire code. So in this way, you don't have to keep watching snippets and all the changes that it's doing in real time. You can let it work on the AWS servers and once it is done, you will get back the results. And that's again is a huge thing to test agents in jupiters now you can go ahead and modify directly on jupiter so for example i have this main.ipynb here that's a jupiter file and uh, what i did was i asked to change the name of the function to calc expo and this is go this is able to change uh, directly inside of jupiter they're also introducing something called memories we do have memories in openai chat gpt which remembers our conversation and our personal things for example but here we can use memories so we can go ahead and go to settings here go to rules and uh, we can turn on the generate memories here so this will then generate memories and store the memories so for example one of the examples that i asked it to store in a memory is uh, i say by default use python code when i ask any question or ask you to write any code so this is one memory uh, that it thought would be a good thing to store so then it went ahead and stored this memory so always use python code by default when responding to questions or code requests from the user so you can set up other rules as well cursor rules and it's pretty easy uh, to setting up the rules as well we have mcp one click install and uh, we love mcp so we have this mcp tools here you can see i've added so many different tools but it's now even easier to add different tools so you can just click on new mcp server or you can go to this link where we have docs cursor tools and then we have these mcp tools you can add this mcp tools with just one click so for example if i want to add this uh, shopify so you can click on add shopify and i can go and click on open cursor this will take me to cursor here and i can just install this shopify mcp this brings easier integration for mcp tools next what we have we have richer chat responses where now we can render visualization inside of a conversation you know diagram data we have this design here inside of the conversation we can have different mermaid diagrams and tables as well when we work with data so these are really important features we have a new dashboard here which shows a daily usage what you have done how many requests uh, how many fire tab completions that you have done it's broken down by different so uh, you can go and click on this keyboard so in the keyboard also you can open the background agent with control plus e so if you go to any code here control e this will open up the background agents you can go ahead and test this out i'll bring in another video where we're going to test this uh, 1.0 version but i am a heavy user and i use extensively the 0.5 version of cursor and it's really an integral part of my coding journey cursor so that's it for now we'll see you in another one thank you